Hello and welcome to a Sierra College student tutorial on cloud storage. If you're still carrying around a flash drive, USB, thumb drive, or any other form of portable file storage, this tutorial is for you. First, let's talk about what cloud storage is. Cloud storage refers to saving data to an off-site or remote storage system where it's maintained, managed, backed up, and made available to users over the internet. Instead of storing information to your computer's hard drive or other local storage device, you save it to the cloud. There are many cloud storage providers out there like Google Drive, Dropbox, iDrive, and OneDrive. You have the choice of which cloud storage you choose to use, though most are limited to about 15 gigabytes for free before they start charging you a service fee. At Sierra College, you have access to OneDrive, which can house one terabyte of information. That's the size of four 256 gig laptops, eight 128 gig cell phones, 500 hours of HD video, 250,000 photos, or 6.5 million document pages. Before I show you how to use your OneDrive, let's go over the good, the bad, and the ugly of cloud storage. First, the good. Access your data anywhere you have an internet connection. Since your data is stored remotely, you can access it whether you're in Manchester or in Madrid. OneDrive is free for Sierra College students. Your data is protected by your login. And you don't need to worry about carrying around or losing your flash drive. And now for the bad. You must have an internet connection in order to access your files. And then depending on your internet speed, your uploads and downloads may take a little longer. If you're having any issues with the speed or connecting to the internet, be sure to come into the Open Computer Labs, either on the Rockland campus or at the Nevada County campus. Please note that their hours will change. At the time of this recording, their hours are here listed below. And then for the ugly, if you don't log out of your browser using any shared device like here in the computer labs, your files will be accessible by others. So don't forget, always remember to log off when you're done with your session in a shared lab. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's review how to access your OneDrive. First, let's log into Microsoft by visiting portal.office.com. Log in with your full Sierra College email address and the same password you use for My Sierra. On the Microsoft homepage, select OneDrive. If you would like to add files to your OneDrive, you can do so by dragging and dropping files here or by clicking on Upload. You can also choose folders for easier organization. If you're using Office 365, 2016, or 2019, you can also save your files to OneDrive while you're working in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or any other Microsoft application. Simply select File, Save as, then OneDrive. Select enter file name here and type a name. If you want to save to another folder, select browse and select the folder you want, then click save. The next time you open the Office app, you'll see your saved file in the recent list. If you don't see OneDrive in your list at all, select add a place, then select OneDrive and sign in to your Microsoft account using your Sierra College email and the same password you use for My Sierra. If you use Windows 10, OneDrive may have already asked you to sign in to sync your files. In the File Explorer, select OneDrive. You can also click on the folder icon in your taskbar or search File Explorer in your Start menu. And there you have it. After watching this, we hope you have a better understanding of cloud storage. Thank you for watching and have a great day.